I'm not sure if I should have brought a fishing pole or my tools to the wrecking yard today. today did if you can see back there get a header panel for the f-150 to add to this project I got a grill half it's uh, actually off an expedition not an f-150 gotta paint the grill because it's white and I believe it's gonna work and look fantastic this is entirely out of line it's April 3rd How am I supposed to get anything done? And this is why we can't have nice things and start working on our projects right away. It's springtime and this is springtime in Utah. Two thousand years later. We're gonna start in on this grill today. I've asked several opinions about this grill insert versus that grill insert. Not a single one said to roll with that one every one of them said this one looks the best that is also the way i was leaning so that's where we're gonna roll um, unfortunately that means that i'll have to pull this out to complete this whole deal and i'm gonna repaint that black anyway i was thinking about pulling this and painting it black but honestly this is gonna be just fine i'll Maybe throw this on the eBay or something, you know, something like that. We are now on the back side of the Expedition Grill, and to remove that, we got to melt all this. Because Ford put this in here and just melted these tabs down. And I believe that that led to these being susceptible to cracking. I got this one here I got to fix, and this one here. I've already tried using this here a little bit yesterday i was just trying on it and it just dragging was that tip actually that i was dragging across and it just wasn't getting in there as good as i wanted to so i got this here i got a this is a hot staple gun um i'm gonna try to heat this staple up and drag it across there let me show you what it looks like but uh, you're gonna know here in just a minute how well that works. That was somewhat painless using that method. I actually went through four or five of these different staples. That's a chunk, one of the chunks that came out. I think I'm just gonna go over this with, hopefully I still got some dolphin glaze and just, you know, bring that up. And then there's a little tiny spot right here that's got to come up too. I don't know if anybody would even notice that thing. So I, uh, I use the dolphin glaze right in here. Got that all taken care of. And then also right in this area here too. Got that all smoothed out. Um, sanded it all down. Fairly decent. And obviously primered it now. It's not all the way 100% dry. It's gonna be good enough that I can paint it in the morning, I think, even though uh, it's supposed to be like in the 30s or 40s when I wake up. I don't care, I'm, I'm rolling with it. I'm just gonna store the paint in the house tonight, and then tomorrow I'll tear that off, rescue this grill out of it. That needs to get cleaned up too. But we'll rescue that out of there, and geez, that poor, Poor kid, look at that. I'm gonna guess this one will come out a lot easier than the other one did. Looks like the whole bottom of this is broke. It is the next morning and it's bright. Well, no, it's not, not yet, but it is cold and early. And 
we're gonna get going on Hoss here. I'm gonna start by tearing the front grill off of this truck here. Um, last I looked, it was about 30 degrees, a little too cold to paint still. I'm gonna wait till we hit around 50-ish. So basically when the sun's uh, directly over in you know this area. I'm gonna show you kind of the goofball design of these early 97s here in just a second. I'm gonna throw you on a tripod. We're gonna pull this out and you're gonna see that this is all, it all comes out as one piece. Although it's two pieces, this comes out as a unit. I don't understand why they didn't stay with it, I guess is what I'm getting at. It, you know, um, you started with it and you make something else that looks identical. I just, I don't understand <laughs> what the deal was there. We need to remove this cover here and we do that by removing these. There's a four up front and there's two here and then I believe there's two there. Yes, one and two. 12 seconds later. All right, so to get these out, it's just like the you got to pull these all the way out on the 97. In fact, I've got a couple of these sitting right here. You'll see here in a second, but this these actually mount into a fiberglass assembly. And this actually just holds the nubs that hang out of the back of the headlights. Whereas, as you can tell, this holds the whole assembly. comes out all as one piece and it's mounted to this thing here and 90 97 the early 97s are the only gen 10 trucks that are like this see and like that there that's all cracked up it's been like that for a spell and i can't replace it because you can't find these unless they're used and they're probably in bad shape too I will say though that these as an assembly come out easier than the other ones that aren't as, as an assembly. I wasn't really satisfied with the way my video turned out. So I'm just going to tell you this project is now complete right here at this point in time. But this part of the video, I wasn't too satisfied with how it worked out. So the 98 and newer style, if you look right there, that little black thing sticking out with the, the screw is the headlight adjuster. And there is a hole right there, you can see right there. You have to line that up to pull the headlight out. It takes two hands, one to kind of push on the headlight, another one to push down, if you could hear that just a second ago. But this side here actually only has one that comes through down there on the bottom. This side's always usually generally pretty easy to get to come up, but anyway. I wanted to show that, and then just the headlight comes out at that point. This marker light is actually held in with a screw right there. And for reference, that is a Fox body screw. But apparently I didn't pull either of those screws and put them in my bag when we were at the wrecking yard. Anyway, let's keep going in the video. See that a second ago. 
Add this little wasp den in here. side has I believe it's four of these there's little Christmas tree things we got to get out of here I'm gonna cut them because I bought some brand new ones for this project the other one is cutting against down. Bam. this truck I've installed these I've seen better days and I'll probably end up eventually replacing them with some newer ones I actually drilled this right into the header panel these have been in here for several years dangle okay okay because I did buy new clips I'm also going to just let these snap These are eight mils. In order to get to the rest of those, I got to remove some more of these. Two 
bolts behind there that I need to get to and then I need to remove the same thing over here. I don't know why I keep going behind the stuff because I do that so I can at least start it. two bolts you can see the back end of them here i think there and there and there's two there two there those six come out and i think as i recall that's the rest of the bolts that need to come out side by side and you can tell the difference here between the headlights the clip is in a different spot so those the clips that hold the headlights in are right there on this and then out on the outer ends of the headlight there so I got in here I was about ready to put this back in or start anyway. I got you guys all set up here on the tripod and I was ready to go. And then my brain kicked in and I remembered, oh, hey, we're replacing those two with clears. And right now is like the perfect time to get to all that stuff. Otherwise, you really got to remove the chin on the bottom of this, whatever you call that deal. So... I'm just going to get at it from right here and yeah, here in a moment we'll be looking real good down there too. I really wanted to do this. Um, I bought the lightning headlights. Those lightning headlights are actually in the house. I haven't brought them out yet, but I wanted to do this at the same time. And these were, when I bought the lightning headlights are very hard to find and I kind of sort of forgot about it. My buddy Bill up in Alaska. Uh, he had these and took them off of a truck. I don't remember the exact scenario, but he wound up taking them off the truck and I believe he updated to the 99 and newer front end, which is a completely different bumper. The grill's different. Um, the grill dips down on 99 and up. So it doesn't work with this and the fog lights are also different. The headlights are the same though. Just side note. Anyway, he wasn't going to be using them anymore, so he sent them to me. So, yeah, thanks, Bill. This is really going to set the rest of this project off, and I cannot wait to see what this looks like later today. I usually don't get into the Milwaukee versus DeWalt debate, but the Milwaukee was having none of getting that bolt out of there. Which, you know, neither was the DeWalt, really. DeWalt said, to hell with it, I'm breaking you off. So, um, yeah, I think there's our piece right there. That, uh, you know, that's a 12 volt and that's a 20 volt. But I'm just saying, pick what you want, but uh, I'm down with the yellow. Okay. I got one in there already. And we're already... Looking, I mean, the whole truck looks about 27.3 times better. So I can't wait to see what happens when we get the other one in and then whoosh, everything. Just a little side note to remove this one, the horn's got to come out. Makes it a lot easier being up here. The only thing that sucks is those bottom bolts. 
took a beating down there because they get all the road junk up in there and also so does the uh, course port let's get this one in here one pair of pants later so i'm starting to uh assemble this and i do find a difference i don't know if i can get my finger in there but there's a little like brace right there that needs to come out we're gonna have to cut that down because it's preventing this thing from going on same thing that thing right there it's got to come out because it runs right into it and you push that in so i'm gonna bring this back out and we're gonna break that out of there breaking that out of there was the ticket i just took some channel locks and broke it right out of there on both sides and yes i did say that i bought some new of these but these are in pretty good shape still so i'm just gonna reuse those Okay, I think I'm gonna start taking apart this grill now. See, we only got about another foot or so for the sun to move, and we'll be good. Okay. That turned out all right. Can't really see the body work I did there, so I'm happy about that or there. I've been using these guys for touch-up paint for so long. If you're in Salt Lake, Superior Paint Supply, it's on uh, 7th West and roughly, uh, I don't know, 13, 1400 South. It's just a little bit uh, south of California Avenue, but these guys, always get it right got this all washed up and it's drying we'll see what we're gonna do on the paint for that i got the final coat done for this the nice thing about this is the clear that i use i can go over this if it's not as clear as the truck i do have plans to maybe try and fix this clear issue that i've got anyway and you know we can just you know tie the whole room together with this rug and It'll look better. For now, now that I got that situated, I'm gonna come back over here and mount these fog lights. So I'll figure out what I need to do there and show you. Thought I was recording. Well, I obviously was not. But I've got these mounted and I put some better washers on there this time. For the record, um, it's eight and a half from end of this to the center there and then an inch back on both sides. Eight and a half from this, obviously, though. And anyway, they're in. I just came in from painting that grill. I used this here trim and bumper paint by Rust-Oleum. It was the same stuff that I used on all the trim on Frankie. I really like, really like it. But here it is. I really like the finish. It's not like way shiny. Uh, I don't really want to touch much, but uh, yeah. Got all the pieces knocked out of it too before I painted it. Uh, this here, you know, should be removable, but uh, some idiot named Shane glued it in there okay it's in there i'm gonna start uh, sticking these in the bottom i'm gonna be honest with you that grill was a huge pain in the butt it does not want to fit on the bottom so what i'm gonna do is uh i did a little touch up there by the way that's why the towels are it ain't going anywhere i'm gonna tell you that right now it's it's in there but it really does not want to go so i'm going to paint those nubs black to kind of try and hide it and it's about all I can do. There will be a huge gap in this video of things that uh, I did and I didn't film because I can tell you right now that I knew without a doubt things were gonna be PG-13 and, or maybe even R-rated. We scratched some paint. 
the 97 original headlights come in and out way easier than the newer style I, I really don't understand why Ford changed it but they did it and unfortunately I got to deal with it I'll kind of show you that when you put these headlights on the newer ones in it's it just it rubs the front of the grill oh and I'm on my way back from O'Reilly's because I need to quit moving these things in and out I've scratched the living piss out of it already and I went and got the Ford headlight adjusting tool that's made by Lyle this is it and basically it has no gears in it it just spins and stops wherever you're at it spins and stops my my issue that i'm having right now using a ratchet is the damn thing the gears are so far out that you know can't spin it but anyway here's another lyle tool to add to my box this is what i'm talking about just scrape the living piss out of this going in this here is the the lyle ford headlight adjustment tool You'll see this thing slowly moving its way in. See, we got, had this so far out that you could see the metal tabs holding it together. And I didn't, I was tired of bringing it in and out and in and out and in and out, trying to get it to work because we're scraping the hell out of it. So I went and got this tool. This is a really, really cool tool that I've wanted for a long time. And, well, got it now. Pretty. Bring this in too a little bit. Of course, this will all have to be adjusted again. I'm going to aim the headlights. All right. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out overall. It's, it's going to need a little touch up, a little bit of work. I ran out of paint, um, and I think I will end up clearing it because I can tell the difference. I don't know if the camera picks that up, but this is shinier than this. That will probably wait, and I'll eventually get to it for, uh, geez, how old is she? 20, it's really a 27-year-old truck almost. Doesn't look too bad, I guess. Later that same evening. All right, I'm out here in the truck. After all that work today, I came out to align the headlights and I did a pretty dang good job just doing them by eye. But it looks like they could use a small amount of adjusting. So let's run out here with the new tool. That's going to wrap this episode up. Stay tuned for another episode regarding the same thing. I needed to get all this done and the headlights on in order for this next episode to happen. And uh, you'll understand when it comes out. And there will also be some special incentives for you to watch. So, yeah. Check it out. And we'll see you guys on the next epi.